I got this light from Harbor Freight about oh a couple months ago. I just wanted to make a review on it. It's a Luminaire Works 4.5 watts 45 lead work light. Crystal blue leads. Die cast aluminum. There's a whole bunch of information on the front. Foam handles. It's a, it's a standard size halogen work spotlight. It has adjustable thing down here. You just got to put this together. It's not super bright. It's not a halogen. It's, it's not that bright at all, honestly. But here's the nice thing about this is halogens, you can't get near them. You get burnt. This thing here, put your hand right on it and push it around. So if you're working on your vehicle, you're underneath your vehicle and you're in the summertime, you're not going to be sweating with a halogen light spotlighted on you. It's going to stay cool. You can bump against it, push it, pull it up to where you're working, push it against your arm, get some light up on that transmission, or inside your house. You're working inside, you're a carpenter. You drop, knock the halogen light over, and hits the customer's carpet, you're not going to burn a hole through it. So it's good points about it, but it is not that bright. It has adjustments down here. Well, actually, that can't adjust. There's a pin. See that little screw? So it can't adjust. That's fixed. So you're going to have to undo this and adjust it how high you want it to go. It, can, it lays down pretty good. It's not that. That's how far it goes this way. Uh oh. Stay. I'm trying to get this thing to tighten up. Alright, there we go. So it's not that bright. I mean, here's this little tiny fellow. I got this for free. It came, uh, somebody forgot it on the truck frame of the semi truck. It was back by the fifth wheel. And obviously, got a free light. Because it's not going to go all the way back to wherever the shop went in to get the alignment. So, uh, I got the light for free. I'm not too upset about that. But this little fella, I can't look at it direct. It has a single, one of those high intensity LEDs. But I'll show you from the side here. Let's shut the main lights off in here so you guys can know. See, these are just regular lights. Outside, it's rainy and cloudy. And that's all it is. You can't even see the light turned on. So I'll turn this little halogen guy and this little LED one on. You obviously can see there's a huge difference even over there. So there's a big difference with that little light. So let's shut the main lights off in here. I'm trying to get it dimmer. Shut this little light off. And that's how brighter this thing is. It's not that bright. So we'll shine it up on the ceiling. So it's not super bright, but when you're working on your vehicles, you're in a closet doing painting or anything. I get stuff because when I see it on sale, I got this pretty cheap because it was like 15 bucks off. I forget the price, I don't know. You're gonna have to look it up on Harbor Freight. It's not that bad. I mean, it's just not as bright as a halogen, but I like it because you can push it around. You don't get burnt. The kids can be in the house and you can use it. There we go. There's the difference. That little felt so much brighter. And that thing is probably half dead. It hasn't been charged in months. This one here, this little LED little guy. Um, it's rechargeable and it has several hours run time. Oh, I can't even look at that thing. It's like looking at the sun or a welding blast. That's not that bright. This thing is horribly bright. I kept it for my um, RC camera for doing RC videos. So there it is. So this one here we don't want to really make a video on. And they have two different sizes. I can't remember if the 45 bulb one is the big one or this is a small one. They have, I, I, there's, oh, I think three sizes, honestly. There's a little tiny one, 
which is you know, obviously you know the 500 watt halogen one. This will be the 15 or 1000 watt halogen one. So I think there might be 45 might be the big one or 45 might be the middle grade one. I just knew it was on sale. I got it for like $15 or something off so it wasn't a huge expense. So that's it on this one here. I'm trying to figure out if I can somehow put it on my old two stand halogen light one. You know, bolt it on there. I just don't know if I can. I think this is all the same. The whole top housing is the same. You just unbolt from here and here and you use your put these on your halogen tripod stands. That's probably what I'm gonna do later on. Because that halogen is just so it's great if you live up in the mountains and you're outside working, go heat your hands up with them and stuff like that, but most time you're not you're not working outside, you're working inside with the halogen lights and you end up burning the heck out of yourself. So there it is that video on this one. Alright guys, I was going to end the video, but I want to go put this light away in the hobby room, and I found this light. I didn't even realize I had this light. I think I took the money I saved from this one, and I bought this one. That's what I usually I do if I can find, I get saved so much money on a sale, I'll take the money and put it on something else. So I probably only spent like five bucks on this or something. So it kind of justified me to get the little fellow. But I didn't, I didn't even know I want to go put this one back. And sure enough, the little guy's in here. So this will be the 500 water halogen. And then this would be like the, um, I think there are the 1000 watt ones. Which these are nowhere as bright as those 500 watt ones. I mean, this is not that bright. So now we can do a comparison between the two little fellows. Gotta watch my eyes with this one here. This thing blinds the heck out of you. There's a comparison.